Hello friends, Alex Jones here, and we're putting out this video titled, Cancel the Super Bowl or America Dies, in response to my good friend Mark Dice's video pointing out that we should cancel the Super Bowl if we really care about this country. Now, obviously Mark did that to draw attention to the fact that no, we shouldn't really cancel the Super Bowl, but we should get our priorities straight as a country. It's not that I don't like football or that even Mark doesn't like it. But when you talk to a clerk at a gas station or your friends, your family, your coworkers, your neighbors, and all they want to talk about is who you for, the Colts or the Saints, we've got a serious problem. Our country is losing around a half million jobs every month, and they're never coming back if we don't reverse this globalist system. Foreign offshore banks have stolen more than $25 trillion in the last year. We are being robbed. Our Bill of Rights and Constitution is being dismantled. And sports is the new God. It's seen as what is good and wholesome and pure. Don't get me wrong. Little League football, soccer, you know, jogging in a marathon, that's great if you are involved in it or your family is. But it's very, very sick that people uh, get depressed if their team loses or get euphoric. Uh, you know, like they've won the lottery when their team wins. This is scientifically crafted mental illness. If you go back to the time of Rome, uh, at the peak of their empire 2,000 years ago, uh, Cicero and others, historians at the time, wrote about how as the empire got more and more corrupt, it consciously funded more arenas, more sports stadiums, more gladiatorial events, more horse races, because as long as the people had a spectacle uh, to invest their psychological worth in future in, they didn't mind if they were becoming poorer or being overtaxed or being enslaved. And it's the same thing. The United Nations talks about it. Uh, many of the PR specialists like Edward Bernays have written about it, how sports replaces real manhood and real community with a type of false prosthesis or uh, fake tribalism with a gladiatorial diversion. People dress up in war paint and they get all serious and they go down and yell and scream for their team. Meanwhile, they don't know the three branches of government. They don't know what their state capital is. They're not involved in politics. Imagine if we had the tens of millions of sports fans, instead of going to sports stadiums and getting drunk, actually getting involved in their local community or standing up against the banker bailout, or, or the fake environmentalist carbon taxes that are meant to run our lives. Imagine if communities got upset and angry over real issues, but they can't because their natural instinct to resist and to stand up against corruption and to be warlike, I mean, we have these instincts for a reason, has been shunted and, and, and distracted uh, off into a corner uh, where the average man really thinks it's manly to go to a baseball game or a football game. Uh, they don't have any real social interaction. And separately, women are only watching things like American Idol or Dancing with the Stars. We're losing our communities. Kids don't even play outside with their neighbors anymore. They sit there and play video games or watch television. We are literally being inserted into the matrix. And that's why I'm calling for people to boycott the Super Bowl. Why? so that when mindless zombie sports fans out there who have no life see this video on the web, it will at least get them to think about the fact that they have a choice to make. Either get up off of your butts and stop living through a bunch of crackheads and, and gangbangers and steroid head football players, get up off your butt and become a real leader for your community and your wife and your children, or don't blame anybody when you lose your job or you get your pay cut or they take your Social Security or your pension fund because that's all being set up right now. They're passing taxes on food all over the country. The worst police states don't do that. The country is being robbed by offshore corporations, okay? It's not manly to paint yourself up in your favorite team's color and go and yell and scream and get drunk. It's manly to be informed and to be focused and to be involved and to take our country back. Right now, the United Nations doesn't care that the Senate won't pass their carbon tax. They're coming into the cities here in Austin they're going to charge $2.6 in the next three years, according to the city council, literally doubling energy prices to pay all that money as interest on the debt to foreign banks. 
banks that made the money up out of nothing. Again, you know all about the quarterback for the Colts. You know all about the running backs and, and uh, the linebackers uh, for the Saints. You know all about the kickoff time, but you don't know what central banks are. You don't know what depleted uranium is. You don't know what fluoride is in your water. You don't know what smart stack GMO corn is that has six pesticides engineered into the corn where it kills the bugs that eat it, but then they feed it to you. See, you better find out why your neighbors are dying of leukemia and why cancer rates are way up and why our society is falling apart, ladies and gentlemen. Or you can feel manly uh, through your uh, false uh, extension of manhood, football and baseball and basketball and golf and all of it where you live through somebody else. It's very, very simple. I, as a man, want a real woman. I want my wife. I want the real thing. I wouldn't spend my time with a blow-up doll. I wouldn't go to a shop and buy one and take it home and set it next to me on the couch and watch football with it. That's what football is. It's a blow-up doll to being a real man. You understand? I want a real woman. I want 1776. I want freedom. I want liberty. I want the real deal. I want to be involved in the master of my own destiny, captaining my own ship, not being a slave like 99% of the rest of the world. The average American thinks that America is about football and baseball. No, it's not. It's about the Declaration of Independence and Constitution. It's about the people being in charge and being the boss. Because if you're not the boss, foreign interest will come in in every case, and they have, and take over your nation and totally enslave you. Period. You have the choice to make. Either you stop worshiping mindless spectacles like American Idol and football, and you start really valuing serious information, and you make a commitment to defend this country, or it's over. You understand? Stop being a fat-ass chump that thinks it's cute to be a slave. Stop being so cowardly and weak, and stop worshiping a bunch of steroid head, crackhead, thugs, and punks that make up the National Football League. Period. Got it? Let me simplify it for you. A few years ago, Arlen Specter, the same guy on the Warren Commission that came up with the magic bullet theory with Kennedy that could shoot through two people in the car and not even get damaged, he had a big investigation about whether the Patriots were cheating or not. Obviously, the Patriots cheated. They admitted to it. But that doesn't matter. The Patriots didn't steal 20-plus trillion dollars from you and your family. The Patriots didn't bring you into financial bondage. It doesn't matter. The establishment wants to fill your mind and your life with petty issues that don't matter at the end of the day. So, hey, watch the Super Bowl. But at least spend time with your children the next day teaching them the Bill of Rights and Constitution. And don't tell me I'm a freak because I want you to wake up and realize how you're being screwed. Realize that the fact that you think it's strange to be involved and informed shows how screwed up America has become, how decadent you've become. We've turned in to a bunch of self-centered, weak slobs, and that's why we're being rolled. That's why we're being mugged. That's why we're being taken over by offshore banks. You better find out about the New World Order. You better find out about the police state. You need to find out about false flag terror and wake up and start getting real role models like civil rights activists and trailblazers, explorers, inventors, whistleblowers, people who stand up for humanity. Those are the real heroes, not a bunch of drugged out football players. Do you understand? This is why America's dying. The Founding Fathers wrote about the pettiness of people only caring about sports or the theater and entertainment and fiction. They said a virtuous person needed to know how the world really worked and needed to be involved in it. And when America held up inventors and scientists and researchers and patriots and rebels as heroes, we were great. When we started worshiping football players and their zit-covered uh, buffalo humps on their backs from steroids, the country fell. Mark Dice is right. It's time for all you so-called tough guys to really man up and realize this country is falling down around us and that we don't have time to screw around. So while you're sitting there enjoying the Super Bowl, remember, America is collapsing and you need to get up off your butt and save it.
There is no future for your children. There's no future for you if you don't man up and rediscover what it is to truly be an American. You have had your destiny stolen from you. The football game doesn't matter. That's why I'm boycotting it. This country is in too much trouble. It's falling apart. We're going into a depression. The elites are trying to stall you with issues of no significance long enough to get their police state in place. We don't have time to screw around with these gladiatorial diversions. You have been warned.